of for sale now vehicle max of a beautiful 2010 nissan maxima sv super black on the outside with black leather interior completely loaded up with premium package and and tech package factory navigation color backup camera panoramic moonroof uh, heated seats cool seats and a number of other options that i'll get into in just a minute it has only 41,000 miles it has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website, VehicleMax.net. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always close on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. <clears throat> I'm going to finish going around the car so I can show you that the exterior is dent-free, uh, no, no love bugs, no hail damage, no major scratches or touches of any kind. Then we're going to go ahead and get inside of it now and get it started for you. This car has an intel intelligent type key. This is the type of key that you put in your pocket and you never really have to take it out of it. When you approach the vehicle, both front doors have a little oval switch right on the handle. You press it once for that door and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. And now all four doors are open. Okay. Let's go ahead and get inside of the car and we'll come back to the passenger section of the vehicle in just a minute. The door panels are all charcoal black with a wood trimming with a nice burgundy stitching that matches the seat. Okay. And we have of course um, power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel. All the power windows have an A on them meaning automatic, one touch up and one touch down. Memory seats for up to two drivers. Dual power seat, power recliner and lumbar support. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in perfect shape. It is solid here and perforated in the center for the cooling and heating package. The car has no burn holes, no cuts, no tears. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no other smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been an odd smoker. We got seat set airbags as well as uh, curtain set airbags. Got a uh, powered tilt and trim that not only goes up and down, but it's also telescopic. Means it comes in toward you and away from you toward the uh, dashboard. And on the sides, you got these tabs here. This is your paddle shifting. And uh, this is here, this one here has a minus sign on it. So this one here is to shift down, while the one on the right is to shift up. And I'll show you how that goes. Uh, you also got automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off the sunrise. Not only do you have heated seats, but you also got a heated steering wheel, power trunk. Your mirrors are over here. Let's go ahead and get inside of it. Let's get it started. Okay, once you um, get inside the vehicle, the vehicle is going to sense that the key is nearby. It's going to ask me to step on the brake and hit the push button start. So let's do that. And you just press it. You don't have to hold the switch. I mean the button. Um, while the navigation boots up, let's go ahead and get the panoramic moonroof open. First, the uh, shades retract, and then you could press it, and it's a one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open. All right, um, let's go ahead and, uh, okay, there's our navigation, okay? If you put the car on reverse, you're going to get your color backup camera that has parking guidelines, okay? So if you turn the steering wheel, it shows you what direction you're going. By the way, if you hear that noise outside, that's just the rubber tires rubbing against our epoxy floor. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong. Let's put it back in park. And there's uh, your navigation back again. Um, let's see here. We got dual climate control. Let's put on the AC. And let's put it nice and low so you can hear me talk. Uh, what I mean by dual climate control, right now I got the driver's side at 60. I'm going to put the passenger side, let's say, at uh, 68. And what that does is that makes the AC vents on this side of the vehicle here blow at 68. Well, these here and here will blow at 60 or whatever it is you set it to. Um, okay, let's see here. This is the uh, top of the line. Uh, this is the um, hard to read here. But this is a grace note. 
Okay, and then um, this uh, radio has all these functions, Bluetooth, MP3 player, has a digital Dolby sound. Uh, it also plays DVDs, okay, and um, and anyway, so it's, it's a top of the line with uh, Bose stereo sound, uh, speakers, okay. And let's go ahead and put on some music. By the way, you can control the stereo right here. Lower, you can um, let me tilt this down a little. You can raise the volume here, lower it here, okay. Uh, over here you can answer the phone. Uh, once you pair your Bluetooth phone you answer it here and you get also voice command. Uh, over here these buttons so you tap up or tap down these are to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set down here yourself which of course can be changed. Um, your source button. Right now we're on uh, FM1 so if I press it again up here you're gonna go to, uh, to uh, another FM okay uh, XM and right now it's on preview because you have to sign up for the uh, subscription with uh, Sirius Satellite okay uh, press it again go to um, XM1 and, and 2 I think you have a two, or th uh, 2 XM stations and then you got your AM here and then we'll go back to FM1 uh, okay uh, let's see here what else okay automatic transmission has a manual shifting mode by the way you get a leather uh, shift knob that has the same burgundy type stitching and I'll show you how the uh, manual tap shifting works put the current reverse neutral drive and that's how you're gonna drive it 99% of the time but if you will notice in this little slot here you got a positive and a negative sign here this is your manual shifting mode option you push the lever over and you could do it two ways you could tap up to shift up or tap down to shift down or more even easier with the tap shifting here you can do it right from here so you uh, tap up here to shift up and tap down here to shift down if that doesn't interest you, you just push the lever over and the automatic transmission will do all the shifting for you. Okay, the car has 41, let's go over here, 41,406 miles. And the center here, you get also an outside temperature readout. And okay, uh, the auto dimming rear view mirror it has an eye here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Okay, you got the, you, the three little houses there. That is your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Uh, down here, you got uh, the passenger seat is only heated, meaning uh, you can put it low or high, but the driver's seat has a heating and cooling option. It's a little hard for me. Let me move the shifter back so you can see here better. If I turn it to the right, it's for heating. You have three different levels of comfort there. In the middle is off, and to the left is for cooling. Okay, so you can heat it or cool the driver's seat. The passenger seat is only uh, heated. Uh, this is your power rear shade. And let me look over my shoulder here. Let's activate that thing. And let's shift it down. Okay, let's put the car back in park. All right, if you push this down, it uh, reveals the cup holder, a little more storage over here, and down there you got a little round uh, cap or a cigarette lighter adapter. In the center console here where you rest your elbow, you get a two-tiered storage. This, the lever here is to the top tier, this one here is to the bottom tier. If you press here, you reveal a little small area there. If you press the other side, you reveal the bottom there. And down there, it's... Um, I think this, uh, I think this is a USB port, is it? Uh, you got a USB port down there, and your uh, auxiliary port also, and then you have a video input. These are those three buttons there. So if you can power it through the cigarette lighter adapter, okay, uh, you can uh, put your DVD input right here to see it on your uh, navigation screen. Okay, um, let's see what else. Uh, okay, uh, okay, the steering wheel is a two-tone leather wrap steering wheel. Uh, black on the bottom and charcoal on the sides and by the, they got the same red stitching by the way the same burgundy stitching and the sides are perforated I'll pan around the nice and slow so you can see it's in great shape with no cuts no tears no burn holes okay in the meantime let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street Miami Florida 33142 is your zip code open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always close on Sundays over here we got the cruise control um, and what I meant by, power, by automatic power windows is this. 
one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for it to go up or down. The uh, side mirrors are also auto dimming, not just the rear view mirror. Up in the top here, we got map lights. Okay, one on each side, and you get your moonroof control here and your uh, your uh, uh, dome light control here. Right now, we always keep it on off because people sometimes they don't shut the door right when they look at a vehicle, so it doesn't drain the battery. Uh, what else? Um, your main glove box is way down here, and in there you can see it's got its own disc manual with its casing and all the supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. Let's pan over the passing your seating area now here, so you can see it's in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes. Really nice shape. This car's in great shape. And remember, to get the top of the line here, SV, with the tech package, premium package. Get the rear spoiler too. Okay, now to turn off the vehicle. All you gotta do is uh, hit the push button, uh, the stop start here, the stop button is here, and um, you don't even have to step on the brake. Now I left the windows open, which is gonna have no bearing on the demonstration for the intelligent key. Uh, so what I want to show you is when you leave the vehicle and you're ready to, um, you want to lock it, you don't have to take the key out of your pocket. You can just press here one time, and the car is locked. Okay, or you can reach into your pocket as you walk away. As you walk away, you can hit the, uh, on, uh, the, the power door lock. All right, the rear door panels are the same as in the front, okay? All black with a burgundy stitching. This vehicle does have the child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. Push that lever up. What that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just push that lever back in here and this handle will start working again. This is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back. And they all have an over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger. The rear seats are the same as in the front, solid here, perforated down the center. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you can keep this down here. And the, middle, the rear row passengers have a cup holder here. And they have full control of the, um, of the uh, they can control the AC, they can also control the stereo. And there's also access to reach into the trunk from here. <coughs> okay. You get anchors for your baby car seat. There are two on each side. So you can fasten on your baby car seat. Just, they just indicate that you have a metal uh, piece down there to uh, attach onto. Uh, rear window defroster and curtain set airbags for the rear row passenger heads also. Again, this is the panoramic moonroof that encompasses uh, about 80% of the, of the roof. Um, you get AC vents for the rear row passengers here. And the, by the way, the carpet's in perfect shape, no stains, no bleach spots, no paint droppings, nothing like that. Just in really, really nice shape. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. I say you're saying you get the rear spoiler, and I was telling you you get the Bose uh, stereo sound system. Okay. All the chrome trimming is in good shape. It's not pitted or peeled or cracked. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk really quick. We can do that from the inside or from the remote. It just releases and then you pull it up manually. And it's got a huge trunk space. And you get that extra cargo mat here so you don't stain the other one below it. Okay. Uh, move on to the passenger side. You get also a four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors. Right, your door panel, perfect shape. Of course, you got the child lock protection on this side as well. And I'm sure by now you notice that none of the panels have any cuts, tears, cracks, burn holes. None of the speaker covers are damaged. Give you another look at the interior of the car from a different angle. Looked like whoever had this car didn't have any kids because there are no indentations of baby car seats. And the, the rear area of the car looks really, really clean. Like hardly nobody's ever even sat on it. Another look at the headliner from a different angle here so you can see it's stain free, cut free, burn hole free. Let's come around to the passenger front. After that, we'll conclude the video. Right front door panel. Yep, both one door, door panels have a little bottle, like a water bottle holder there and a little storage here on the side. Like I said before, you got also, yeah, on the passenger side, you got power seat and power recliner also. No lumbar support on this side, just on the driver's side. All right, let's talk about financing for just a second. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you live a long distance away, you're concerned about the financing, or you want us to just simply get you a pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Around the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, 
and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.